Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today, we bring you a video on the wiring and debugging of the H20 and X7 Plus flight controller. The video is divided into three sections, material introduction, wiring process, and debugging process. Without further ado, let's get into the first part, introducing the materials. The main materials used in this video are Telem 1 cable, H20 SBUS cable, power module, and the X7 Plus flight controller. That's all for the materials used in this video. The material introduction part is over, so now let's move on to the second part, the wiring process. First, we use the Telem 1 cable, included with the product, which has two connectors, a 3-pin and a 6-pin GH1.25 connector. Now, connect the 3-pin connector to the UART1 telemetry port on the H20, and connect the 6-pin connector to the Telem 1 port on the X7 Plus. This way, the UART1 telemetry port on the H20 is connected to the Telem 1 port on the X7 Plus. Next, we use the H20 SBUS cable, included with the product. The SBUS cable connectors include a 2.54mm DuPont head, a power head, and a GH1.25 6-pin connector. This step involves connecting the SBUS port on the H20 to the RC port on the X7 Plus. First, connect the SBUS port on the H20 using the 6-pin connector on the SBUS cable, and then connect the H20 SBUS port to the RC port on the X7 Plus. Then, connect the NEO3 Pro GPS to the CAN1 port using the CAN connection cable, which has a GH1.25 4-pin connector. Finally, power all the devices. Use the power module to power the X7 Plus, power the C20, and power the H20 Skyend. This completes the wiring part, now we proceed to the debugging part. The debugging section includes four tasks, setting parameters, accelerometer calibration, compass calibration, and joystick calibration. First is setting the parameters. Connect the computer to the flight controller, then select a serial port to connect. After a successful connection, select Software Config at the top left of the screen, then click Full Parameter List on the left sidebar. Find GPS Type and set the parameter to GPS TYPE equals 9 according to the video. Then, find NTFLED TYPES, click its first box, select Drone CAN in the pop-up window, save the settings, and reconnect the flight controller. Next is accelerometer calibration. Click setup at the top left, select Excel calibration, then click the first green box on the screen click when done. Follow the prompts below the green box to rotate the drone in various directions, clicking click when done after each rotation, until it shows success. Then, perform compass calibration. Click compass on the left sidebar, and rotate the drone at various angles until the progress bar is full. The final step is joystick calibration on the remote controller. Click radio calibration on the left sidebar, click this button on the screen to start working. Move each joystick on the remote controller as shown in the video, and you can see which channel the joystick is on. After moving all the joysticks, click Save. Finally, reconnect the flight controller. That concludes the content of this video. Thank you for watching. For more product information, please follow us.